Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Atlanta 75. This is going to be race number 25 in the More Freedom Series, season four. And there has been a shakeup in the points, so let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the double zero of Mudbone. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Fifth will be the 25 of JTM. Sixth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And tied for ninth will be the 203 of Signs and the 10 of Scooter. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports leads the way with MBR second, Ace to Z Motorsports third, Amish Buggy Racing fourth, and rounding out the top five, the Drop Air Racing team. Chassis standings look like this, Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here for this Atlanta 75. It's shaping up to be a fantastic race here today. It's gonna to be some high speed action here at Atlanta. And the crowd is piling in, so I think it's about time. So let's go race it. As they get these cars fired up and heading off pit road, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the double zero of Mudbone. On his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting third will be the 72 of Duchess. And on her outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting fifth will be the 777 of Seabass. And on his outside, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Starting 7th will be the 51 of AJM, and on his outside, the 300 of Resemble. Starting 9th will be the 11 of TC Roberts, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. So Mudbone trying to make up those points here today as he's fallen to second behind the 20 of Adam B5000. He's going to start it off on the pole. He's going to get those five bonus points right away, and hopefully five more for leading the first lap which will bring him to, you know, he's, he's 40 points back right now. So he definitely needs a good finish here today. The 20 of Adam B5000 will be starting in the 14th position. So we're going to see what Mudbone can do. He's got the 25 of JTM on his outside. The 72 of Dutch is behind him as he paces behind that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. So hot battle between Douche Motorsports and MBR as we have several drivers from MBR in the top 10, starting in the top 10 today. So we're gonna see what they can do. Green flag is out and we are underway here at Atlanta. And down into turn one, Mudbone gets a lead there over the 72 of Duchess as JTM looks like he's falling back a little bit as that high line is not gonna be the fast line here today. So they're gonna to have to pass low as Mudbone carries it down into three and four. Seabass already to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. Followed right behind him is going to be the 51 of AJM. So Seabass is trying to lead lap number one, but that's going to be by the double zero of Mudbone. Mudbone going to lead lap number one, so he is going to have those 10 bonus points. But last week's winner, the triple seven of Seabass, is already vying for the lead as his car is out to the front right now. Again, high speed action here today at Atlanta as Seabass down into three and four. He is probably gonna lead lap number two. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as the set, triple seven of Seabass out to the lead here at Atlanta. We've got three wide behind him with three Aces to Z Motorsports vehicles, the 420, the 95, and the 11 as we see the 666 of Pistol Pete for Amish Buggy Racing down to the inside of the 95 of Zed Brunner. That trip, that high line is just getting hung out to dry as we see the 88 of NM who had awful race last week went out six <laughs> on lap number six as well as the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days as we see the triple six of Pistol Pete for Amish Buggy Racing as we see we've got crashing in the back. We got crashing in the back folks. Looks like it's going to be involved the 72 of Duchess, the 300 of Resemble, possibly that 20 of Adam B5000. As they race back to the flag, I'm guessing that 300 of Resemble is going to be out of this race. So the 666 of Pistol Pete is going to be your leader here as it's basically three wide for second place right now. So they're getting woed up into three and four 
as we're under caution here on lap number five, as we see them all jumping down to head into the pits. They caught up to the back bumper of the pace car here. We're going to see what brought out that caution, but that did involve, what I say, the 72 of Duchess, the 300 of Resemble, possibly the 799 of Mike Check, and maybe the 20 of Adam B5000. We saw Adam around, but we're not going to, we don't know if it damaged to his car or not. I'm guessing you're going to see that 300 of Resemble, and he is going to be out of this race. Just came over the timing and scoring. They have gone out of the race with an engine camshaft as a result of that, but we're watching Pistol Pete. Fuel only stop here for the 666 as he is down and away. He has to slow up there. doesn't matter. His teammate, the double zero of Mudbone, is thinking about getting out of the pits here. So it looks like the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days may come out second. We'll catch up to everything in just a moment. But let's see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out between contact between the 211, the 07, and the 72. So three douche motorsports drivers here are going to get together and basically nowhere to go. Four wide situation. Let's see this happen. From the hood, or the roof cam on the 300 of Resemble. So just nowhere for Resemble to go there. He is going to be out of this race as a result of that caution. Uh, let's go through your current top 10 right now. As I think we're going to get the one to go signal off uh, right as we cross the stripe here. So your leader is the triple six of Pistol Pete. Second place is going to be three five six of Ice Cream Some Days. Third will be the ten of Scooter. Fourth will be the twenty three of Fuller Than You. Fifth will be the four twenty of Queen of Hearts. Sixth will be the eighty eight of NM. Seventh will be the two eleven of Hogs. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the triple seven of Sea Bass. And rounding out your top ten will be the six sixty of Garrett Miller. So that's a look at your current top ten here on lap number eight. As we see the 72 of Duchess back out onto the track. She does have damage all around that car for Douche Motorsports, the Harborough Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports. So she's a lap down right now with that damage. And uh, again, the 300 of Resemble out of the race. Looks like those involved were probably the 300, the 72, the 799, the 20. And I'm not sure if the 33 was involved in that or not, but that's your current top 10. That's who's out as we're getting ready to go back to green here. You see him uh, going too wide with that 356 of ice cream some days on the outside line here. She's going to try to get a good jump for the G3 Motorsports and that public Chevy as we head towards the stripe here to restart this race for this Atlanta 75 with 41 laps to go. Pace car is in. They're waiting for that green flag from our starter. Green flag is out and we are underway. So Ice Cream leading us down into turn one with Pistol Pete down to the inside. Right behind her is the 23 of Fuller Than You. So Pistol Pete got a good jump there and is able to stay to the inside and actually get around the 356 of Ice Cream some days as the 420 and the 10 trying to get down to the inside. They will get down to the inside of the 666 of Pistol Pete. So Queen of Hearts pushing that 10 of Scooter to the front of the field as the 211 of Hogs gets in behind her as they're making it three wide down into turn one as the 29 of Wishbone Attack pushing down to the inside of the 777 of Seabass. So Scooter hung up on the outside right there as the 211 of Hogs who finished, I think, third place last week. Having a good run this week here at Atlanta for Douche Motorsports as we got three MBR drivers piled up behind him, the 29, the 51, and the 88. So it's going to be a wild, crazy affair as we see the 72 of Duchess back into the pits. So she has some major issues going on with that car as a result. 
of that caution as the 88 of NM down to the inside of his teammates and Sun, the 51 of AJM. So NM trying to lead a lap here. We're gonna see if the 11 of TC Roberts lets him have that. He does as the 95 of Zed Brunner, the Pink Panther working down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts. Here comes the 96 of Nico who started way back in the back in 26th position. So Nico has worked himself up into the top five looking for the second position as he works underneath the 95 of Zed Brunner, your leader on the track. Still the 88 of NM. I don't think that's going to last long as the 96 of Nico works down to the inside. And we're going to see that 13 of King of the Aces pull to the left and uh, get down to the inside of Nico. So Coda has now pushed his car up to the lead after starting in the 28th position. But here comes the 329 of Heck of a Duber down to the inside with his teammates. Plural, the 07 of Douchebag is in the 8 of Moon Bunny. So Duber about to lead a lap here at Atlanta as we see the 07 sandwich between the 13 and the 8. So Duber out to the lead as Moon Bunny, winner, I believe, two races ago at Texas, is now trying to get to. The inside, and she will get to the inside. The 329 of Heck of a Duber has a 33 of Harvey Jones. Works down to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check. Behind him is going to be the 999 of Deviant. As Deviant's working down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones, we have it almost four wide for second position. Given a little bit of room, there is the 33 of Harvey Jones as his teammate, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Thinking about getting to the inside of that 999 of Deviant as a Mudbone, your pole sitter, back to the back bumper of the 544 as they're going to catch up to that 72 of Duchess. We're going to see what Duchess does here. She's going to try to keep it in the middle. Again, she is way off the pace here as she's kind of a rolling roadblock, but the 544 of Frederick Winklevom, he is probably going to, looks like we're going to have another caution here. Maybe not. We do have a caution that's going to involve the 07, the 49, the 13. As the 25 at JTM is going to work into the second position behind the 544, Frederick Winklebaum. So Winkle's going to take over the lead here as we have a caution on the track again. We heard that as I think it's going to be as a result of the 72 of Duchess and just being slower on the track. Nothing we can do about that. So we're going to see what happens with the 49, the 07, and the 13, as it looks like we're going to be having pit stops again here on lap number 17 with 32 to go. So that's going to be a tough break for the 49 of Jetman, who was top five in points and has fallen back to 12th right now. Also, bad day for Duchess. She was up to 11th in points. I'm assuming we're going to see some tires here. So right side tires going on to that 544. It looks like it might be a two tire stop. Two tires for the 544 Frederick Winklevom and he is down and away as we see the congestion on pit road right now. JTM is going to beat him out of the pits it looks like. So the 25 at JTM in the Sonic Dodge for MBR is able to beat the 544 Frederick Winklevom out of the pits. Looks like the 203 of Sainz is going to have a fantastic pit stop. He came into the pits 17th, and it looks like he might come out in the third position here, fourth position. So... Signs again coming into the pits in like 17th position able to come out in possibly the fourth position so far nobody out of that out of the race as a result of that caution but let's go see what brought that out well this caution is going to be brought out by contact here you're going to see the 23 of fuller than you push his way into the bottom underneath the 20 of Adam B5000, making it four wide and really just nowhere to go here. That's going to involve the 07, the 20, the, the 49. Let's see this happen. Oh. 
So DB up on it, up on the wall right there, able to keep it going. He's still on the track. So again, the 23 of Fuller Than You just bumps into the 20 of Adam B5000, making that four wide pass and causes that mayhem. But uh, nobody out of the race as a result of that caution. Looks like we got one lap to go here. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 25 of JTM. Second is going to be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Fourth will be the 203 of Signs. Fifth will be Known Wrecker, the 23 of Folder Than You. Sixth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Eighth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Ninth will be the 34 of Super Snake. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. So poor DB and Adam B5000, both involved in the last couple cautions and just terrible days on the track for them. Uh, DB, let's check in on his car. As you see, Duchess is just all kinds of damage. Got damage on every side of that 07. And probably damage on the 49. We'll try to see here. But we're getting back to double file as we come back to the flag here to restart this race. Again, you're later that 25 at JTM. So he is working on another top five or top 10 here today. He would love to get this win under his belt, but this is a highly competitive race here. High speed, high competitive race. As we bring him back to the green flag, it is out and we're back underway here in Atlanta. So it looks like at 0, 07, 72, and possibly the 49 are going to be slow, but the 25 at JTM pushing that Sonic Dodge for MBR out to the lead right now as the 666 of Pistol Pete right there behind him, as well as the 23 of Fuller Than You involved in that last caution. Here is his teammate and car owner right behind him, the 95 of Zed Brunna. So JTM trying to lead this lap here. He's going to slide up in front of the 544. He's going to lead it, but that 666 of Pistol Pete is now stuck in the middle with the 23 of Fuller Than You and the 95 of Zed Brunna pushing him. Here comes the 34 of Super Snake, who had a rough go last week, run, got out of the race as a result of that early caution, as well as like the 88, I believe, is involved in that, the 356. But that was last week as the 95 of Zed Brunna, who has worked himself into the fourth position in points right now, now leads a lap here at Atlanta, so he's going to get those all-important five bonus points as we see it four wide right now. As we have multiple cars around here, folks. Multiple cars around. So, lots of carnage on the track right now as it looks like the 25 of JTM is going to be out of this race. So lots of carnage and a tough break for a lot of our competitors here as it looks like the 25 is done for the day. Uh, I'm not sure about this 34 of Super Snake, what he's doing. Not sure if he was uh, coming into the pits or if he's our leader. He might be our leader right now. But it looks like he is thinking about coming into the pits. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to see that 25 of JTM out. So, rough break, tough break for him here at Atlanta. See what they're doing here on the 34. Looks like it's a fuel only stop for the 34 of Super Snake. He's down and away. As we do see the 23 of Fuller Than You on pit road. So JTM looks like he's getting service up here. As we watch a double zero of Mudbone pop into his pit. So off pit road first is going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Looks like the 33 of Harvey Jones is going to stay out. And uh, let's go through and let's see what brought out that caution. You basically saw it live as we were watching the 95 of Zed Brunna, but you're going to see it four wide right now between the 329 of Heck of a Duber, the 203 of Signs, and the 25 and the 23. So let's see this happen. Oh. 
Another casualty in this is going to be the 211 of Hogs as Duber's going to get into him. I believe that's what's going to happen here. So let's see this happen. So caution filled race here at Atlanta today. Out of the race as a result of that of that incident is going to be the 25 of JTM, the 23 of Fuller Than You, and the 8 of Moon Bunny. So rough go for that 25 of JTM. Uh, hopefully those five bonus those five bonus points aren't going to hurt, but definitely a bad blow to his championship chances right there as he's going to be out of this race here today um also involved in that caution the 203 of signs and the 211 of hogs and so we'll check in on those so duchess is still in the pits right now as we got one lap to go so oh she's back out of the pits. sorry about that but yeah she is currently three laps down right now as we watch just they're trying to figure their lives out back here so Seabass and Mudbone all the way back here in the back of the pack right now. As we see the 211 of Hogs sliding back again. He is a lap down right now due to that incident on the track. Let's go through your current top 10 real quick. Your leader is the 33 of Harvey Jones. Second's going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Fourth will be the third will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Sixth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Seventh will be the 51 of AJM. Eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000, currently runs 20th. Second place in points, the double zero is going to be 22nd. And we got Frederick up here at the front, so we're going to watch his teammate, the 33 of Harvey Jones, leading us back to take this green flag here at Atlanta with about 22 laps to go. Green flag's out. We're back underway. So Harvey leads us down into turn one. The 34 of Super Snake on his outside. Super Snake gets a great jump. But I don't think it's going to be enough as it is, again, uh, the low line here at Atlanta is going to be the faster way around this track as the 29 of Wishbone Attack trying to get down to the inside of the 34 of Super Snake. Here comes the 329 of Heck of a Duber as KFB was way off the track right there. So I'm not sure if something happened to Ken Fubir as we see Duber working down to the inside of the 29 of Wishbone Attack. And here comes the 95 of Zed Brunna. So I'm going to try to catch up to, it uh, looks like KFB is into the pits. Not sure what happened with him. Maybe had a tire going down as Duber pushes that car. Produced Motorsports out to the lead, but here comes the 95 of Zed Brunna down to the inside of the 29 of Wishbone Attack. As Harvey stuck way up there on the outside. His teammate, the 544, Frederick Winklebaum, trying to work underneath that Pink Panther, the 95 of Zed Brunna, get moved along by the 356 of Ice Cream some days, and I don't know if you saw that move. By the 34 is Super Snake, but he jumped from the high line to the middle line. And with a fantastic move right there, but your leader on the track, the 329 of Heck of a Doomer pushing out by a couple car lengths. Here comes the 10 of Scooter. He's down to the inside of the 356. He's going to have some help by the 90, 96 of Nico and the 3 of Geek Girl Games as they head down into one. G3 looks like she might be trying to drop it low. The 96 sliding up. We're going to see if he's going to get a run to the back bumper, that double zero, or the 10 of Scooter. Crazy action for the fourth position right now is the 799 of Mike Check is right there, almost getting ready to get passed by the 999 of Deviant, Deviant, his teammate, as we might have a battle for the lead here in just a moment between the 10 of Scooter and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So I'm assuming at some point we're going to run into some lap traffic here as Scooter is stuck there behind the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So Duber for Douche Motorsports looking for his first win of the season. Scooter actually looking for win number two this year in his rookie season, rookie season with 10, 16 laps to go. 
So Nico is solidly into the third position right now as you see the triple seven of Seabass working to the back bumper of the three of the 96. So maybe the more freedom series came over the, the radio and was like, hey, y'all need to calm it down a little bit, but not quite sure as we see the double zero of Mudbone who was way back in 22nd on that restart now up into the top five. We do have the 203 and the 211 drafting right there as we see the triple seven of Seabass to the back bumper of the 10 of Scooter. I'm pretty sure that Scooter right now who could be blocking for the 329 of Heck of a Duper, he's not gonna be able to as the triple seven of Seabass down to his inside. Here comes the double zero and the 88. The 88 working down to the inside. Mudbone dropping it down, cutting off the 88 of NM as we see the 203 of Signs and the 211 of Hogs basically blocking on the track right here. So a couple douche motorsports drivers blocking for their teammate, the 329 of heck of a Duber. Duber gonna try to get down to the inside of the 203. So Duber still leads away here at Atlanta as we see the double zero of Mudbone now into the second position. As the three of Geek Girl Games and the 13 of King of the Aces work underneath the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Mudbone into the second position. Duber still leads the way here. 544 trying to stay with all of them as he is down to the inside of the 13 of King of the Aces and the 95 is Ed Brenna following right along. Here comes the 660 possibly down to the inside of the 40 right there. As we might have a battle for the lead here as the double zero of Mudbone Coming down in front of that three of Geek Girl Games. I'm not sure if they have anything for Duber. I think we're gonna have one more pit stop here today at Atlanta with 12 to go. As Mudbone currently just riding behind the 329 of heck of a Duber. He's thinking about it right here as they come off a two. Gets a run to his back bumper. Here comes a 544, Frederick Winkelbaum. He's gonna get down to the inside. G3 is gonna go with him. So G3 down to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone. Somehow Duber is holding everybody off right now. As Winkle down to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games, here comes the 660 and the 29 to follow suit. So high speed action right now as we have the 07 and the 49 getting ready to be caught up by your leaders as the 544 goes into the second position and the 660 and the 29 now battling it out for the third position as the 40 of Veteran Chaos working down to the inside. He's gonna make it three wide with the 29, the 660. As we go down into one and two. With about 10 laps to go here at Atlanta. The 544 Sticking in behind the 329 of Heck of a Duber is off of turn four. They're gonna get some, uh, they're gonna have a, not a caution, they're gonna catch up to some lap traffic as I see the 33 of Harvey Jones did pit. So Harvey into the pits, he's gonna come out. I'm not, that'll be his last stop for the day. I think all these drivers have one more, oh my goodness. Duber very close right there as it looks like the 544 is gonna take over the lead. As they put the 07, the 49, and the 72 another lap down or so. So Frederick takes over the lead here at Atlanta with the 40 of Veteran Chaos in second position. Looks like Frederick might be coming into the pits here. We're gonna see him come in. The 40 of Veteran Chaos will take over the lead with a 13 of King of the Aces right behind him. So seven laps to go here at Atlanta with your leader, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. We're gonna see if Vet puts it into the pits here on this lap or if he waits another one as the 95 of Zed Brun is still out. So it looks like we got the 40, the 13, the 95, and the three, and the 660 possibly still out. So the 95 is Zed Brunna takes over the lead here. So Zed already has that lap led. He's gonna lead another one here at Atlanta, and we're gonna see what this does. He doesn't have any draft help right now. 
So we're going to see if that is beneficial to him. Or, I mean, I think he might catch up to the 203 and the 211 here. Looks like Zed off the gas. He's coming into the pits. Catches up to the back of the 211 and the 203. As the 544, Frederick Winklebaum looks like he might be your leader here. Actually, it looks like it might be the 329 of Heck of a Duber and possibly the 799 of Mike Check. I don't know. It's going to be some wild, crazy action as we got about five laps to go. 40 of Veteran Chaos is out. Duber goes around him. The 95 is Zed Brunna out of the pits. He's not going to be able to beat the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Duber's going to catch up to him here in the turn. I think your battle for the lead on the track is going to be between the 799 of Mike Check, the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and the 544 of Frederick Winklevom as Winkle makes it three wide right here. Winkle looks like he's going to take over the lead. Mike Check has to slow down for the 211. That's going to put the 544 of Frederick Winklevom out to the lead. I'm fairly certain of this. We've got to wait for timing and scoring to update, but. This might be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum and the 329 as the 329 down to his inside. So this is your battle for the lead between the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So Duber down to the inside of the 544 looking for his first win of the season. Put himself back in maybe into the top 20 in points. As a 29, a wishbone attack is now caught up to possibly the back bumper, working down to the inside of the 329. Here comes a 29, a wishbone attack. He's down to the inside. With, I think, two laps to go here at Atlanta, the 329 of heck of, or I'm sorry, the 29, a wishbone attack. Now to the lead, but that's gonna be the 544 down to the inside. So Frederick. As we got two laps to go here at Atlanta, Frederick down to the inside of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Here comes a 799 of Mike Check. This is basically anybody's race to win right now. As the 544 is going to push out to the lead here with one lap to go, we're going to come off of turn four, down to the stripe, one lap to go here later. The 544 of Frederick Winklevom. The 34 of Super Snake setting himself up right now. Here comes the 799 of Mike Check, the 29 of Wishbone attack down to the inside. 34 to Super Snake going to work down to the inside of the 799 and Mike Check. He's going to get a run down the back stretch. It looks like it's going to be the 544. So off of turn four, your leader, the 544, Frederick Winklebaum. Looks like he's going to be able to pull it out here again today. The winner at Atlanta, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. I believe that's going to be his third win of the season this year. So let's go through your finishing top 10. And an amazing race here in Atlanta. Caution filled. Your winner is a 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Second's going to be the 799 of Mike Check. Third will be the 34 of Super Snake. Fourth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Eighth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Ninth will be the 999 of Deviant and rounding out your top 10, the triple seven of Seabass. Edge of your seat excitement right down to the last lap here at Atlanta. Uh, next week, we go to Charlotte for the Charlotte Roval 80. So road course coming up for these drivers. Uh, let's go through your current points as the double zero of Mudbone will finish behind the 20 of Adam B5000, but I think that might push Frederick to the lead. You're seeing those points here on the screen. And in your team and chassis standings, it probably Douche Motorsports extends their lead here as there's no MBR drivers in the top 10, and Duber finishes sixth here. Wow, amazing race here at Atlanta. 
your winner again, that 544 of Frederick Winklevom. That retirement from the police force has really helped him just be a better driver, been able to concentrate on his driving skills and amazing finish today here at Atlanta. Congratulations again to your winner, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. And until next week at Charlotte for the Charlotte Roval 80, take care.